Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin and I don't really have a lot going on this week so hopefully I can get a lot of reading done and yeah, I, I really think that's it. Like I really don't have that much going on this week so that's good and I'm hoping to finish at least another two books. So let's just go ahead and start the vlog. I didn't film anything except the intro yesterday, so I guess I'll start there. I listened to more of Crime and Punishment. He's now sick. Uh, Raskolnikov is his name. I'm going to call him Rask for short uh, because I don't think I'll be able to pronounce it again. Um, he's sick. He's kind of being a jerk to everyone. One of his old school friends uh was gonna help him out give him a job rask just was like nah um, even though he needs the money also for anyone who's read crime and punishment please explain to me why he so he killed someone stole from them which like okay that's the basis of the story but then he hides everything he stole from them, even just, like, cash. Can someone please explain to me why he did that? Because I don't understand. Like, you went through all this trouble, you killed two people, and now you, you're not changing anything about your life. And, like, am I missing the point? Anyway, Rask is kind of being a jerk, and everyone's just like, huh, weird. Um, <laughs> and two of his friends were like, yeah, he tends to, he seems to be, like, a, a jerk, except when the murder is brought up, he gets very excited. And not, like, excited, like, ooh, but just, like, interested. So, it's just something where it's, like, am I missing something? Did I zone out on the audiobook and miss something? Like, why, why are people just be like, oh, yeah, that's just Rask. He's just, you know, a jerk and bites your head off most of the time. Like, I... Except for these, like, random bouts of, of innocence, Rask is kind of like a... He just seems like an asshole. I don't understand why people are so fond of him. Anyway. So that's Crime and Punishment. I also read a little bit more of Carnal Knowledge yesterday. Still good. Still learning, which I appreciate in a nonfiction book. <laughs> I think today, because the whole reason I picked up my camera is because I don't want to do anything like I um like Siri told me to clean and I I went up to the room to start cleaning and I'm just like yeah I don't want to do this and I don't really want to work out I might try to force myself in a couple hours because I need to but I just don't really want to do anything. So I think, honestly, besides cooking in, like, a couple hours, I might just read Carnal Knowledge because I have to power through it. Not power through it. It's actually, like, really enjoyable. But I have to get through it fairly quickly because the my family book club is meeting next Thursday. And so I have to have The Sky Belongs to Us read by then. So this might just be a chill day of just me reading about sex <laughs> and watching YouTube and, and maybe getting on the stationary bike in a couple hours. That sounds like a good plan. You know, listen to your body. Don't force yourself to do things that you don't really want to do. The mood will come back again when I, I feel like cleaning. You know, I think that mentally I had prepared myself to be working on the library today because that was the original plan. Chris and I were going to put up more bookshelves and expand my library a little bit and so I think I mentally prepared myself to be working on that today and, and when that didn't happen because we figured out we're just going to expand all of it and just get it done and so we didn't have enough supplies and then enough time to do it. We're going to do it this weekend. Anyway, because of that, even though I know it makes a lot of sense, I think I'm like still like mentally disappointed. <laughs> and so I'm just like, I'm just not gonna do anything then. So it's stupid, but I think that's the only thing I can logically think of or just, I'm just not feeling anything today. So I'm gonna go read.
I've read quite a bit. I think probably another like 75 pages. And then I worked out and I'm going to read some more until I have to make dinner. But I wanted to show off a gift that Amy gave me on Sunday. Because I have like... I have anxiety and I have PTSD and some, day, some days I just have bad mental health, um, which they're very aware of. And so they made me uh, happy pills, <laughs> which are little capsules. I'll get an empty one to show you. They're little capsules that have like an itty bitty face on it um, and inside is paper and you can write messages. So what Amy did was contact people besides themselves um, in my life that know me really well, that really care about me, and asked for just like positive things about me that I can look at when I'm having bad days. So they messaged my dad, my husband, uh, my sibling, and then one of my, my friend Ellis that I write with every Thursday. So I thought that was really sweet and thoughtful and I wanted to sort of show off a little bit. But I also just, you know, having a bad mental health day for whatever. Well, I think I know why. I had therapy this morning. I talked about some stuff. So I think it's just like still sitting a little bit. Um, but they also, it was so cute. <laughs> so they wrote this little pamphlet, right? But it's not just saying like, oh, these are happy pills. It's prescription information. <laughs> and pretty much saying like, my favorite is potential side effects, warm, fuzzy feelings, nostalgia, and laughter. And then, do not take this medication if you are under the influence of psychedelics. I'm sure that would result in you eating one. Don't eat these. Um, so, I figured I would just open one for you guys so you can see how amazing my best friend is. Oh, I opened that up for a reason. So, that one's peach which is personality. So this is going to be a positive personality trait. And it's from Amy. I can already tell just from like the beginning. So the only issue with these, which is again, not like a bad thing, but like they're so tightly curled to fit inside the capsules that sometimes it's hard to unroll them. But this is, I'll read it out loud. Um, this is from Amy. Our first Halloween weekend hang that bookstore and just being goofy in general. Love that we took pictures with the Beetlejuice decorations right after I bought that hoodie. We went to um, a used bookstore that's in a couple towns away and <laughs> it was so cute. Uh, it, it was really cute, it was really chaotic, but the reason I go there it, so much is because all the books, the used books are a dollar. Um, you can buy new new books for full price, but most of the books are, are used for a dollar. And uh, you can see I'm like, I'm re-wrapping it. So, um, but it's funny because they also have like, they have art from like local artists. They have uh, hoodies made by local people. So they have a lot of local stuff too, which I really appreciate. But Amy found this Beetlejuice hoodie that was like tie-dyed and it's, it looked really cool. And so they bought it. And then we were leaving and we were just walking around and we found this like, it was around Halloween. Um, and so we found this like Beetlejuice display of like the big snake. And um, I think, I think it's mainly the big snake. And then I think there were some other like Beetlejuice things around it. But so we had a little photo shoot around it and maybe I'll put a picture. But I, I thought it was really cute and that did, that did cheer me up a little bit. So thank you, Amy. That's it. That's that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to brag on my best friend a little bit. Um, and so now I'm going to go back to reading uh, for about probably another like hour and a half or so. So that's it. So I'm filming this real quick. I realized I didn't film anything else last night after the happy pill thing. My mood like tanked. Um, <laughs> the, the happy pills are are lovely but they're not immediate unfortunately <laughs> and so yeah my mood tanked i did read about 106 pages of carnal knowledge so i'm now at the i think i'm at the m's <laughs> or the l's i might be at the l's so i made a good chunk of progress there i'm about halfway through the book 
or the alphabet, whichever one. I'm halfway. <laughs> um, I just finished working out, so I might be a little out of breath. So, sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling a little better. Just a little, though. Like, I, I didn't wake up super thrilled, unfortunately. I wish I had. But I'm probably just going to stick with listening to Crime and Punishment today because I have a lot of things I need to do before work. I have to go pick up a postcard for a cousin who's doing a school project. And I have to swing by the post office and mail a book that I sold and eat. I have to eat at some point. <laughs> um, and then I have to, to go to work and, you know, do all the work things, unfortunately. So, yeah, I, will, I don't have time to pick up, like, a physical book today, but I will listen to Crime and Punishment. I'll listen to at least two more hours. So, I am making a good amount of progress there, but I didn't listen to any of it yesterday, so I'm not going to give an update. And, yeah, that's about my day. You know, this is just a, a quick little update because I'm, I'm busy, busy, busy. And I will check in later. I just wanted to pop in again and just show you what I'm dealing with so that when I say later or tomorrow that like I didn't really get that much reading done it turned into a lazy day it's because I have this boy and then that boy and it looks like it's just nap time it's nap time while the the boys nap and and I watch YouTube um because Siri keeps telling me things I can't do yet. So I'm like, all right, I guess I'll play games on my phone. Um, and you might be thinking, like, well, Robin, you could read. I could. That is very true. And at some point in the future, I might. But considering I had two decently bad mental health days, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm just going to chill. I... I I did read. You saw the clip I read. I will hopefully read more, but Siri gave me an option to just chill out, so I'm just going to chill out. <laughs> Good morning. I just woke up, technically. I woke up at like 4 a.m. for about two hours, and I, I got to sleep around again around six and so I slept through my alarm a little bit so I just got up at like 8 30 I have a hair appointment at 9 30 and I, I'm just filling you in on my day uh, <laughs> pretty much my I have two goals for today three goals for today I would like to edit a YouTube video I filmed a video last week about my five-star reads of 2022. Hopefully it's already uploaded. <laughs> I would like to edit that today because it's just been sitting for a week because I just haven't gotten to it. Second, I would like to finish a book. Uh, if I don't finish a book this week, it'll be the first vlog in which I have not completed a book. So I'm hoping I can finish Carnal Knowledge, especially because... My family book club is on Thursday, and I really need to read the book for that. So, there's that. Um, what's my third goal? I had another goal. Oh, um, the bookshelves. Chris and I are expanding my library. We're adding more bookshelves in that room. I was going to film a video of it, but it's just not good angles. Like, you won't really be able to see what we're doing. Um... So I'm going to film a video of me reorganizing it 
not necessarily putting it up. Sorry. If you have questions about how we do it, about how we put the shelves up, like, leave me a comment and I will let you know. And, you know, it's just track shelving. It's, it, that's it. It's not that complicated. <laughs> it's just complicated because our, our house is wonky and, and the walls, one of the walls isn't level, but we're not working on that wall this time. So it shouldn't be too complicated. So those are my three goals for today. We will see how much I accomplish. <laughs> Other than that, I did read yesterday. I listened to another chapter of Crime and Punishment on my drive. I finished I finished part two. I so I listened to the first chapter part three. Um Rask is coming out of his illness. He saved Marmadolov. Although his family called him something different. But anyway, he saved the, the drunk guy that he met in part one. Well, saved is a loose term. Um, <laughs> and so he he's continuing this yo-yo of, like, having a conscience. And, and saving and or being generous and, and in general caring about other people. To the other extreme of pretty much saying like f you and and dropping very very large hints that he did something um to where one of his friends is like suspicious but his other friend his bestie uh Raji Mihin, is like his number one stan and he's just like no not possible um <laughs> so it's it's just interesting i you know, I'm liking it. I'm liking it more than I thought I would. For just the fact that it's Russian literature, which I've not had good experiences with. The fact that it's essentially a thriller, which I've not had good experiences with. Like, I'm actually surprisingly enjoying it. So, I will listen to more of that tomorrow and Monday. I should finish it by the end of the month. I will say that. I pro I won't finish it this week. I have, like, 14 hours left in the audiobook. Um, and I'm not really picking it up in physical form just because like I don't necessarily need to for the buddy read it's spread out over six weeks and right now I'm ahead so I'm just gonna keep listening to audiobooks that's working for me and my physical books will focus on the rest of my TBR so like I said one of my goals today is to finish Carnal Knowledge so I'm gonna read a little bit of that now before I go to my hair appointment and I will check in with you guys later I guess So I just finished Carnal Knowledge. Um, I was gonna stop about like 45 minutes ago, but I realized how close I was to finishing. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll just finish it before I go work on the library. Um, I ended up giving it four stars, mainly because I was confused and slightly offended by some of the descriptions by the author in the entries. So it's written like an encyclopedia. So it just goes alphabetically talking about, you know, different things that he deemed worthy to be in an encyclopedia. Because obviously, an encyclopedia about sex is, if you put every single thing that was about sex, it would be over a thousand pages. So I, I'm only slightly offended that like, some things that are of personal interest to me in terms of like research as someone who works in sex education I feel like there are things that need to be there like I had mentioned in my TBR that I, I saw an entry about lipstick lesbians but there is no entry about butches and I'm just like <laughs> why why put one and not the other 
Also, there was, like, some fat phobia in there whenever he was talking about, like, chubby chasers, which, like, I know already is sort of, like, an insulting term. But there was one, I don't remember, um, he was talking about a, a porn actress who was overweight, and just the way that he was describing her, I was just like, this is, like, insulting, so there was some fat phobia in there that bothered me. There was also a lot of focus on on people, particularly porn stars, which is fine. I have no issue with that. But like, especially in the 1970s, which like, okay, I get it. But I feel like if you're, okay, <laughs> it says, Sex from A to Z uncovering all things naughty. But there are so many different sex acts that were like left out that I feel like are important, especially for people to know about so that they can research and do them safely that they just weren't covered. And so there's so much focus on people, which I understand makes it a little more interesting to read, but I don't know. So I ended up giving it four stars because it was really informative on the things that were in here. I just felt like there were things that were missing, which like, like I said, makes sense. <laughs> so I'm not knocking it necessarily for that, but I just think there could have been a little less focus on like lesser known porn stars, male and female, and maybe a little more focus on particular sex acts that I think more people should know about. But that's my opinion on a book that was written like, 14 years ago so it doesn't matter um I am probably going to go work in the library Chris and I added another set of shelves so that I can add more books to my library and have it looking nicer because almost immediately after we put up the first set of shelves I got more books and it it's full so we added another set we're gonna add another set sometime over the next couple weeks um, to expand it a little bit more because we figured we might as well just get it all done. So I'm probably going to work on that. I might listen to Crime and Punishment or I might just listen to music. I haven't decided. I'll let you know. What up? <clears throat> I'm at work again. I really hate that uh, <laughs> we're required to work. Like if I could just read all day for my job. One, I would make so much more progress <laughs> with my book goals. But two, I think I would just be a lot happier. Um, <clears throat> so those are my, my Sunday thoughts. Um, other than having to be at work, which I'm almost done with, by the way, I only have one more hour. I'm feeling pretty good, which is great because I was reflecting on it this past week and I was like, wow, I was like, very like meh uh earlier in the week glad i'm not feeling that anymore <laughs> i just finished eating i have to finish up some work stuff and i'm not read today so i'm not quite sure why i'm filming an update because i don't have anything new to say i did well okay i guess i i do i did start reading um the skies belong to us i'm at like i read like the prologue and then a chapter so I'm at like three percent so it's not a lot to talk about yet but I did do that so but I'm going to finish my work stuff um maybe read a little bit before I go into my last meeting and then when I get home depending on what Siri tells me to do I will either be editing this vlog and actually be ahead for once so that'd be exciting or I will start reorganizing my library and <laughs> film that video. So I, I have plans. I also spent about an hour editing another bonus video, which hopefully will come out this week, maybe, um, and as well as editing the podcast that my dad and I are starting. So I had a productive night last night just not doing the thing that I wanted to do, which was reorganize my library. So hopefully I'll do that tonight. If not, I will be editing again. Lots of editing. 
it'd be great if I could actually like post those videos, but <laughs> it'll, it'll happen eventually. So that's my plan, which I guess I didn't necessarily need to tell you. I could just do it. So I guess I'll show you me doing it. I like Ron just like over my shoulder um I'm about I don't even know man like three quarters of the way of like reorganizing my library I'm not showing it to you uh somewhat unintentionally but conveniently because I'm gonna have a separate video that is going to be me reorganizing it and doing a bookshelf tour so keep an eye out for that but and my back really hurts from reorganizing it because I, I'm not in shape. And that was a lot of bending over because the ceiling has a slant in it. And so some of the books I just had to like continually bend over for. Anyway, um, I listened to almost two hours of Crime and Punishment since I, so I didn't listen to any on my way to work or on my way home because I was just so tired and I felt like I would end up repeating what happened last Sunday when I had an early day and I was like drifting to sleep a little bit while I was driving so I didn't so I didn't want to repeat that so I just listened to a lot of music but I listened to about about two hours while I was reorganizing um <laughs> Look, I don't necessarily need to like the main character, but my boy Rask is is just so he's so inconsistent. Like I I never know what he's thinking when we're not in his perspective and when we, when we are in his perspective, I'm just like, dude, like chill out. Like he's going to end up getting caught for for these murders which like there he still doesn't he doesn't benefit from it like that's the part that or at least he hasn't benefited yet that's the part i'm a little like i still don't understand why it even happened oh there's, you can see the drill too because we put the shelves up and i'm gonna add more shelves once i get them so anyway just me noticing all the things you can see in the background i'm pointing it out so you don't have to <laughs> um uh what was i saying oh yeah rask is just like <sighs> he's kind of annoying just in that like if he just chilled the f out he would get away with it but because he keeps fluctuating between like completely calm but kind of callous and it's like extreme paranoia and then this like extreme cockiness where he pretty much told someone like how he got away with the murder but then he was like he like talked it away by saying but that's not how you know that's not how real life works or something like that and it the guy bought it and I'm just like what are you doing anyway I, I don't think I've talked about that part before but I'm on part three which is all about his mom and sister arriving in St. Petersburg and Rask doesn't 
agree with his sister um, becoming engaged to this like lawyer person and he's being a real dick about it like he's just like overall just a huge dick and like that's fine I don't need to like the main character but I do need to understand them and so it's just a little frustrating but I <laughs> his, his best friend Raz which like Raz Yumihin, whose name I can actually pronounce just because it's said so often. Um, he's a delight. You know, he's kind of an idiot, but he's just so bubbly. And he's he thinks he's Rask's, Rask's <laughs> best friend. And Rask is just like, dude, you're annoying 75% of the time. Um, but he very much keeps Razzy Meehan around because he knows that Raz will do anything for him. So, yeah, that's my, that's my summary. Part three is just an exhibition of all the ways Rask is a dick. Uh, so yeah, so <laughs> what a fun way to end the week. I finished one book this week, which is not great. <laughs> I, I'm about halfway through Chiron Punishment, which I think is faster than I thought I would get through it. Um, next week, I will finish The Skies Belong to Us because I need to, because Book Club is on Thursday. And then I will move on to... I don't know. I, I have all the books I'm currently reading slash... Wow, my hair looks great. Um, slash TBR on a shelf over there oh after i need after i read the skies belong to us i need to read the woodhouse book because dad and i have to film the next episode of the podcast <laughs> and it it sort of sucks like i i want to read the woodhouse but it really sucks because freya marsk who is the author of probably like my favorite current series like my favorite series that is ongoing right now um which is the last binding series which includes a marvelous light and a restless truth she gave like she posted the synopsis of the third book on her instagram and it is all i can think about and i want to reread the series so bad <laughs> even though i just read it in november I want to reread it so bad because the third book is about my favorite character. And when I read the second book, I'm just like, mm, I think that my favorite character is going to be in Enemies to Lovers with this person. And I was right. Freya Mars confirmed it in the synopsis. I don't I don't know why I'm like not giving names because she says them. So uh, Jack, which is Lord Hawthorne. Lord Hawthorne is going to be an enemies to lovers with Alan Ross and I'm so excited and I want to reread the series so bad but I have so many other commitments that I I really can't so I'm reading fan fiction instead just when I have time which is not a lot <laughs> usually it's before I go to bed but there's not a lot of fan fiction about it so it's just like I'm like scratching the itch but only barely anyway that's that's my update. Um, I'm probably not going to read much more tonight. I'm waiting for my back to recover before I can continue working on the library. We'll see how I do. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up because now I'm rambling. And I'm trying not to do that as much and I'm failing miserably. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me more motivation to read my month of nonfiction books because as you saw, with a carnal with carnal knowledge it takes me a while to get through nonfiction, even something as easy as just reading an encyclopedia which as i say that it doesn't sound easy but like in my head it is anyway thank you for watching i'll see you in next week's vlog bye